which we don't. If I ask any of those people, okay, you quoted Imam Shafi. Imam Shafi said, right? Whenever a hadith is sahih, it is my madhab. Okay, good. What is the methodology of Imam Shafi in determining if a hadith is sahih or not? Huh? Because you said, he said it. So he must, he, he knows when a hadith is sahih and when it is not. How did he determine that? That's a question. Since you, like I ain't saying you, Abu Bakr, Muhammad, Abu Muhammad. I'm talking about the person who says that. Okay, since you're saying that, what was the methodology of Imam Shafi determine the hadith is sahih? Do you know? I, I wait and listen. And the person doesn't have an answer at all because he doesn't know. He'll say, oh, a hadith is this, this, this. I said, that's the determinant. That's, that's the criterion of Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani. What is, I didn't ask you what his was. I wasn't some book of the terminology of hadith that you learned a few things. I said, Imam Shafri. Hmm? Don't tell me about Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani. Don't tell me about Ibn Kathir. Tell me what a Shafri said. You don't know, so then that doesn't apply to you because you cannot use it because you don't know how he determined the hadith is sahih. No, 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 Malik, much, much more than that. Much more than that. To apply that statement of a shafi is way deeper than that, way deeper than that. Much more involved. And then the next question, from which book you're going to find where Imam Shafi listed his criterion or how you can extract the criterion of determining a hadith is sahih from a Shafi? And the person don't even know the books of a Shafi. But he's quoting a Shafi. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. No, seriously. And I don't expect him to know that. Right, so don't that ain't like putting them down, it's just showing you talking about something you know what you're talking about, and it's not expected for you to know that, and it's not expected for you to do what you're doing either. 